Where are we going? Well, we are going to pick up my new bike. An Aprilia RS V4. Something that I've been eyeing for a long time. And I've been telling you guys that I'm buying a new bike, but that's only after I sell the R6. Well, the R6 isn't sold yet, but I have absolutely zero self-control. So we're headed to the dealership right now to pick it up. Join us for life. <laughs> officially in debt. In debt. <laughs> Congrats on the bike. See you. Thanks. Uh, it's official. It's official. <laughs> You're in debt. <laughs> I can't believe it, my Aprilia RSV4. This is freaking amazing. It's gonna be the first time I turn this bike on. Wow, I've been thinking about this bike and I haven't told you guys about it, but I've been speculating about buying this for a long time. This is the 2022 Aprilia RSV4 and this is my first start. Let's hope I don't screw this up. Obviously it's a stock exhaust. But, I think when you're on it, it's quite throaty. Woo! Oh man, I'm so nervous, you have no idea. <laughs> wow, first ride of my brand new RSV4. I gotta go real slow because uh, last night I didn't get too much sleep. But this is just a test ride from here to the park. And then uh, once I get used to it and adjust my mirrors, because right now they're not adjusted, we're going to get used to the bike. And then from the park, we're going to go somewhere and have fun with it. So it's got street mode and sport mode and user. I guess after a certain amount of miles, this thing will uh, go into race mode or something like that. I have no idea. These are things that I'm learning for the first time. And apparently launch control is enabled. I have no idea what that means. All I know is that if I do something, this thing is just going to fly. <laughs> wow, my first upshift. <laughs> wow. New bike experiences, my friends. You just can't replicate these things. It's once, once in a lifetime. I'll never buy this bike brand new once again. This is like going to be the first and the last time. So these, these, uh, these moments are really, really hard to replicate. And I really hope that my camera is recording all this and my GoPro is not going to shit on me. I'm always nervous when I buy a brand new bike, but boy, does it have, does it have torque no matter which gear you're in. Holy shit balls. Pretty smooth ride, I would say. Damn, it feels good. Damn, it feels good. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo! <laughs> I can't wait to like start learning things about it and report back to you guys how I feel about it. Tell you guys what I like, what I don't like. There's going to be a lot of content with this bike, you better believe it. There's going to be more content about this bike than anyone else who's created content for this bike on YouTube. I can guarantee you that. 110%! It is so easily tossable, it's even more than my R6. I can't believe this. And I thought my R6 felt well light. By the way, in case you're curious, that BMW right there, that that the dude is riding right there, that's mine. <laughs> I just bought that thing. It's a 2022 BMW X3. My cousin right there is driving it. He just came from uh, Ontario, Canada. Lucky bastards driving my brand new car. <laughs> it's not. It hasn't been a bad month, I'll tell you right now. It really hasn't because I moved into my new place. I got a brand new bike. I got a brand new X3. Let's just say that I'm in a lot of debt right now. <laughs> It's been uh, it's been very expensive. Wow, this thing turns for you. You don't even have to turn. F***ing telepathic. 
Holy shit balls. All right, so I got a, I got something that says alarm, urgent service. I have no idea what that means, and I had no idea it has an alarm. But apparently, I got to go in for service. I don't get it. So I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe if I turn the bike off and turn it back on, that'll go away. But uh, I have no idea. Maybe uh, something's broken. Shit, I hope not. Brand new bike. Yeah, it's, it went into limp mode. No, it doesn't. No, no, it, it doesn't show it. No, I'm kind of far away by the time you got... Three hours later. All right, guys, so we got back on the road and the problem disappeared. It hasn't given me any issues. And I think the reason why it came on is because I went too fast and maybe the bike needed to get adjusted because it's brand new and I have to ride it below a certain amount of miles but that doesn't make sense, it's an RSV4 so I'm not really sure but I called up the dealership and they were like, you sh if you want you can come over and we'll take a look at the bike but we're closed until Tuesday and today's Friday so I'm not going to see the bike again for another couple of days but they were like, the alternative choice is just to ride it and see if the problem persists and if it doesn't and fantastic you're good to go but if it does bring it back on Tuesday and we'll see what we can do but uh, that didn't make me feel good to be honest with you like the dealership made me feel good but the fact that I bought this bike and then this happens I got to read the manual to see if that's something normal or this is like a really a malfunction so if it happens a second time it's an issue but overall uh, the bike is fantastic man I'm freaking loving it I'm not gonna get too hung up over it but it was something important that I'm glad it happened on camera because <laughs> now I have I have something to prove to the dealer on how it happened, how I was riding, etc, etc. But uh, let, let that not be the focus of this video. The focus of this video is still exactly what I want it to be. My first ownership experience of the RSV4 because this bike is freaking badass. And I'm just riding it on regular roads right now. I'm not going too fast or anything like that. Uh, that's not my intention. I want to get to know the bike and I want to get to know the ergonomics and everything like that But there will be another video of course where I have some serious fun with it. Definitely stay tuned for that